Let's be honest, everybody knows that our body is made up of 75% water, and most people want to ensure that they're drinking the best water for their health. Hey, what's going on? I'm Apprentice Demond, and today we are doing a review on just water? Yep, just water. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. This is uh, a celebrity's water. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna see how good it is for our health. We're gonna be testing it, putting it up against this electrolyzed reduced water, okay? And the first thing we are gonna look at is antioxidants. This is the most important test that we're gonna do here today. The reason why is because we have all these things around us known as free radicals, okay? They're in the air that we breathe, food that we eat, our electronics, cell phones, video games, probably an NFT on them, right? And these things, they come in and they take electrons from our healthy cells. That creates oxidation and inflammation, and that is linked to every single health disease known to man. So just think of an itis, right? Um, bronchitis, tendonitis, those are, that's inflammation happening in the body. So we want antioxidants. Antioxidants are gonna bring down that oxidation, lower that inflammation, and essentially be our fountain of youth, okay? Our things are oxidizing, they're positively charged, okay? And antioxidants are negatively charged. So we're gonna use this ORP meter, which stands for oxidative reduction potential, to see if we get a positive number, which is bad, or a negative number, which is good. Let's see what we get with just water. All right, it's steadily going up and it's looking like 200. Okay, so this is oxidizing. All right, <laughs> it's oxidizing, not helping our health, and it's actually going up even more. Let's go ahead and test out this electrolyzed reduced water and see what we get. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> wow, look at that, a negative 725. So this is a very, very strong antioxidant rich water, okay? Uh, and it looks like just water is just oxidizing right now, okay? <laughs> um, so there you have it, that is the first test. And from there, we don't need to do any more because we know it's not doing our health, our body any good, and we can stop right there. But I know you have a few more questions about this water, so let's go ahead and jump into the second test, which is on alkalinity. Alrighty, on to our second test, which is all on alkalinity. And a lot of people know this one because of the bottled water industry, right? So um, every bottle or all your alkaline bottled waters always talk about the pH. And we know that pH is great because we want to keep our blood slightly alkaline, okay? It's not about keeping our stomach uh, a strong pH or any of that stuff. This really has to do with our blood. And if our blood strays away from that 7.365, it can lead to a lot of health challenges, right? With all the sick stuff that we're consuming, we want to balance it out with something that's alkaline. Uh, and actually, when we come out of the womb, we're alkaline. <laughs> and as life progresses, as we get older and sicker, we start to become more acidic, okay? So the longer we're alkaline, the longer we potentially live, okay? So, we're gonna use these pH drops and put them into both of these beverages. If we see a red or orange or yellow, that means it's acidic. It's eating the minerals and electrolytes in our body. However, if we see a blue or purple or dark purple, we know it's alkaline, okay? Let's see what we get with just water. All right. So just water is looking good. It's looking like a eight-ish, right? And this one over here is looking like a nine, maybe a 10, okay? So let's see if there's anything in this water or if it really is just water. Let's uh, take a look at it. Mm, paper. <laughs> it says Glen Waterfalls. So this is the spring source. 
And it says there is nothing else in this water. I don't see anything. So let's test it, shall we? Because it is alkaline, it's appearing alkaline, I want to test it and see how strong it is for battling that acidity, okay? So I'm going to blow into it and see what happens and see if it actually can battle back some of those things that we're eating day in and day out. We'll see what we get. I don't know. <laughs> what is that? What do you guys see there? Is this neutral? This looks like a little bit slightly under neutral, which is around a six-ish, which is kind of what I expect for a spring water, okay? So this looks like it falls right in line where it's supposed to be um, once you get past that initial go. Um, but let's take a look at this one. All right, so it doesn't change. Whew, okay, that was crazy. Um, doesn't change. This one did change a little bit. It looked like it went slightly below neutral. You guys let me know. You can see better than me. Um, but that's okay. As long as if you're eating super clean, super healthy, you're not consuming alcohol, the tobacco, the stress that we may be dealing with, uh, pollution, all those different kinds of things lead to acidity in the body. And so we want to have something that's going to be strong enough to battle all that stuff out. Um, so yeah, there's just water and there is that second test, an alkalinity. We're going to go ahead and do one more test before we wrap this all up. All right, on for our third and final test. This one is all about superior hydration, okay? Um, and this pretty much boils down to us getting water that's actually able to hydrate us at a cellular level. At a cellular level, because we're actually, we're bringing water into the cells, fire up that mitochondria because we're bringing it the minerals that it needs, and we're pushing out waste with our water. So our water needs to be small enough to actually get into the cells and do that. And what we're gonna do to test that is we are going to make some tea, okay? And you're probably thinking, well, Prentice, you're crazy. <laughs> How is making tea gonna show anything? Well, if the water is small enough, it's actually gonna pass through and actually make tea without it being heated up, by the way. So let's see what happens with just water. Ooh, there's a lot of water in here. <laughs> so we're gonna jump it up and down a little bit. All right, we're starting to get a little something, right? I don't think you should have to jump up and down to get hydrated though, right? But we are getting a little something and I wanna say this is typical of your spring water. So like you normally get some percentage around like this where it's like kinda tea, like a tea light. All right, so let's see what happens with this electrolyzed reduced water. Let me get this tag out. Look at that, immediately, immediately makes tea. And it's actually much darker than this one here, right? So it's actually stronger, it's that because it's much smaller water. It's actually able to go and hydrate you more. Just think about that. It's crazy, right? Uh, one more time, just to make sure. <laughs> maybe, yeah, the tea bag was wet the second time. So maybe that was, maybe that was why. Let's go and check one more time. No, still the same. Still the same old stuff. This is this is, this is doing something, but it's, t it's gonna take a lot more water. It's gonna take all of this instead of just a few sips here to get hydrated, right? Let's go ahead and verify it one more time. Well, 
Like, look at this. It's crazy difference, right? <laughs> and so, I don't know, maybe it's the way I'm pouring it? I don't know. Let me just try this right here. And it's not, it's the water. It's the quality of the water. Just think about it, right? So if I'm pouring more here, it's not getting stronger, it's getting weaker. So there you have it. I'm trying to see if, if we can get the same results and we're not getting it, okay? So let's go ahead and do a quick recap of our Just Water. All right, we just finished this review on Just Water and we found out during our first test of antioxidants that it is oxidizing us, okay? So this is not helping us in that regard. Um, and then the second thing we tested for was alkalinity and we saw that it's um, neutral for the most part. It's a little alkaline in the beginning, slightly alkaline, which is great if you're eating like a rabbit. I wouldn't say eating like a rabbit, but if you're a vegetarian, that, that may be able to work out for you. But um, most of us, especially on the, the standard American diet, we're eating the not so healthy stuff and we need a water that's actually strong enough to neutralize that acidity, okay? Uh, last but not least, we tested it for superior hydration. And we see that doesn't really hydrate us as strongly as this other water here, okay? Um, so just water is, I don't know, it's just, for me it's just not good enough, right? So um, just wanted to share that with you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you're curious about this water, because this is the one I would recommend, then you want to check out what I have coming up for you right now. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you learned a little something about the wires that we tested here today. Please take a moment to share this video with someone you care about who is also drinking this water. Finally, if you are serious about improving your health and the waters that you drink, click the link in the description below to access my Water Wellness Masterclass. In this masterclass, you will discover the truth about the waters we drink, the effects our water has on our health, and how you can have the world's best water in the comfort of your home and save thousands of dollars as a result. All right, go ahead, click that link in the description below, access that masterclass, and I will see you there real soon.